Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. A squared is equal to B plus 13 and B squared is equal to A plus 13. We need to find all possible values of A and B. So, let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. And we subtract equation 2 from equation 1. Equation 1 minus equation 2. So, we write this a squared a squared and we subtract left hand side of equation 2 b squared is equal to right hand side of equation 1 is b plus 13 and from this we subtract right hand side of equation 1 a plus 13. Next a squared minus b squared is equal to now we remove the brackets b plus 13 this negative sign will change the signs of these two terms this positive a becomes negative a and this positive 13 becomes negative 13 next a squared minus b squared is equal to this positive 13 will be cancelled out with this negative 13 in at right side we are left with b minus a now we move this negative a and this positive b to the left side then this equation will become a squared minus b squared this negative a becomes plus a and this plus b becomes negative b at left side is equal to 0. Now by using algebraic identity this a squared minus b squared will become a plus b times a minus b from these two terms plus a minus b we can factor out plus 1 plus 1 as a common factor and in bracket left a minus b is equal to 0 now as you can see this expression a minus b this expression a minus b is a common factor so we factor out this a minus b a minus b as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left this a plus b and this plus 1 in bracket left a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression a minus b is equal to 0 or this expression a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0 from this equation we move this negative b to the right side then this equation will become b is equal to a and from this equation we make the b subject b is equal to this plus a becomes negative a at right side and this plus 1 becomes negative 1 at right side now we recall equation 1 recall equation 1. Equation 1 is a squared is equal to b plus 13. Equation 1 is a squared is equal to b plus 13. First in this equation we put this value of b a. Then this equation will become we write this a squared a squared is equal to in place of this b we write this a plus this 13 now we move this a and this plus 13 to the left side then this equation will become a squared this plus a becomes negative a and this plus 13 becomes negative 13 at left side is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula according to quadratic formula a is equal to minus value of b is negative 1 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 1 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 13 
divided by 2 times value of a 1. Next, a is equal to this minus and this minus will become positive 1 plus or minus square root of this negative 1 squared is equal to 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 13 plus 52 divided by 2 times 1 2 and a is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 52 53 divided by 2 because b is equal to a because b is equal to a so from here we get the same values of b is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 53 divided by 2 now in this equation 1 a squared is equal to b plus 13 we replace uh, this b with this uh, negative a minus 1 then this equation will become a squared is equal to we replace this b with this negative a minus 1 negative a minus 1 plus this 13 next a squared is equal to negative a negative 1 plus 13 plus 12. Don't so, move this uh, negative a and this plus 12 to the left side. a squared this uh, negative a becomes plus a at left side and this plus 12 becomes negative 12 at left side is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation is factorable so we solve it by factorization. We write this a squared a squared and we split this plus a we split this plus a with plus 4 times a minus 3 times a minus this 12 is equal to 0 now from these two terms a squared plus 4a we can factor out a a as a common factor and in bracket left a plus 4 from these two terms, negative 3a minus 12, we can factor out negative 3. In bracket left, a plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this expression a plus 4, this expression a plus 4 is a common factor. So, we factor out this a plus 4. a plus 4 as a common factor, in, in bracket left, a minus 3 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression a minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression a plus 4 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of a is equal to 3 and from this equation we get the value of a is equal to negative 4. Now to find the values of b we recall that we recall that b is equal to negative a minus 1. We recall that b is equal to negative a minus 1. And when a is equal to 3, then b will be equal to b will be equal to negative in place of this a we write this value 3 minus 1 and b will be equal to negative 3 minus 1 negative 4 and when a is equal to negative 4 then b will be equal to b will be equal to minus in place of this a we write this negative 4 negative 4 minus this one and b will be equal to this minus and this minus will become positive 4 minus 1 and b will be equal to 4 minus 1 3 so from here we get two pairs of solutions 
a comma b is equal to 1 plus root 53 divided by 2 comma same value of b 1 plus root 53 divided by 2 and second pair is 1 minus root 53 divided by 2 and same value of b 1 minus root 53 divided by 2 and from here we get other pair of solutions a is equal to 3 b is equal to negative 4 so this pair is 3 comma negative 4 and the other pair is a is equal to negative 4 and b is equal to 3 so the fourth pair is negative 4 comma 3 these are the four pairs of solutions of this equation